Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss some coffee shots for CISSP Domain 3 security model. We have a different type of security model like Bella, Padula, Biba, Clark Wilson. So I thought I will make some coffee doughs on the security model. In this video, I'm focusing more on the uh, Bella Padula topic. If you're new to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos of Domain 3. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. Thank you. Okay, so we have a first coffee dose. Which of the following security model was enhanced first? First. Let me use some other pen. First by US Department of Defense security rules and the requirement to demonstrate the secrecy, which is also called confidentiality and all that and could be maintained. So question talking on which of the following is a security model. That is a, another keyword Department of Defense, which is US specific. So option A Bella Padula, second is Biba, Third is Clark Wilson and fourth is Brewer Nash. Clark Wilson and Brewer Nash was more like a commercial. They were not a first model. Clark Wilson basically focus on the extension of Biba, focus on SOD, first commercial model used in the organization. Brewer Nash is basically focus on the conflict of interest. Okay, so these are both are more commercial model. Biba was on DOD, Department of Defense, but focus on integrity. Bella Padula focus on the confidentiality. So that is why I'm going with the answer. A because Bella Padula was a first multi-level security model introduced by Department of Defense focus on the confidentiality. Yes, that is done. Oh, I miss coffee should always come with the snacks. So I thought let me introduce snacks in the first question itself. So here you can see some exam pointers which might be helpful. Bella Padula only and only focus on the confidentiality and they have a three rules no read up no write down and same security property. Let me give an example of how this no read up is work. Suppose we have a senior management, we have a management and we have a practitioner. Okay. And this is basically my top secret secret. And this is my confidential. So now what happened? Give me a second. Yeah. So we have a data here. Example. This is the data. So this is data has been labeled as a top secret or so it is available to the senior management. So in that case, any data or any user is basically belong to management will not able to read this data because it is clearly say that no read up. Definitely you can't see your manager salary. You can't see your manager data. So if it's labeled as a top secret and available to the higher subject of senior management in that case, lower subject will not able to read this information. Even practitioner will not able to read this information. And this is how we maintaining a confidentiality that is called no read up. Second is if this data has been classified as a secret. So in that case, we will not let senior management to write anything on that because they might write some sensitive information in the less sensitive area, which is accessible to everyone. So that is why it is called as a no write down. Okay. Suppose we give the read and write, or we give the right permission to senior management on this data. So when they have a right permission, they might write some sensitive information in the less sensitive area. So they're revealing some sensitive information in the less sensitive area, which is accessible to the management and they will get to know. Sometimes what happened when you're sending an email. So we have a two people here. Example, we have a prab who working in the senior management. And we have a prab which is working on the practitioner. We would like to terminate this guy, but we sending a feedback mail to senior management about the prab. But mail was accidentally delivered to prep practitioner and he will get to know, okay, they want to fire me from the company. So in the outlook or in the MS server, we have a features now office 65 has a feature DRM has a feature that any email coming from the top clearance will not able to process to the lower subject data. So this is how because processing is a no write down. And third is basically called strong star property where the read and write happen on the same level. So I thought I will make some coffee shots with snacks in this session. So let's move to the next coffee shot. Thank you. Okay. So which type of security model use labels first keyword and keep track 
of clearance clearance come with a need to know need to know is part of the confidentiality confidentiality is part of the uh, primarily into the bella padula and they talking about also cl classification and it implement a set of rule to limit the interaction between the different type of subjects and object see option a bella padula option b biba biba definitely will not be the answer because clearance is deal with the confidentiality and biba focus on integrity so that is removed clark wilson was the extension of biba so that is removed brior nash is basically ensure the group of people from one environment they cannot able to access the other environment from a prevention of conflict of interest so this is also removed so only option is basically left is bella padula model so in the bella padula model what we can do we can limit the interaction from a one particular subject to other particular object and we can able to restrict the user uh, to read the above classified information that is why because of clearance and classification and subject to object interaction if this kind of a keywords will be there answer will be bella padula model let's move to the next coffee shot thank you okay so which of the following is not one of the rules of bella padula security model option a bell simple security property which is called no read up definitely it is a rule of a bella padula option b star property sometime refer as a no write down definitely it is also part of the bella padula option 3 strong star property definitely it's part of the things of bella padula which is not part of that which is a invocation property actually invocation property is part of the biba where the lower subject cannot request the higher up, uh, subject to process any information so it is more from a integrity point of view so it is part of a biba not for the bella let's move to the next coffee shot okay what is the first 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 security model formalizes the us department of defense on multi level security policy three keywords are there first us department and multi level option a bella padula option b biba option c clark wilson option d brior nash first is always introduced as a bella padula then we introduce biba and then the first commercial was introduced was a clark and wilson so in this case answer is basically a bella padula model let's move to the next coffee shot thank you it's look like a tricky question with the bella padula security model security policy prevent security policy prevent information flowing downward from see we have a suppose top secret we have a secret and we have a confidential this is my senior management this is my management and this is my practitioner so what happen now this is my data the data has been classified as a top secret okay so it is accessible to senior management so in that case i repeat in that case management will not able to read this practitioner will not able to read this because that is called as a no read up no read up but if this data has been classified as a management okay so it is available to management but we ensure that okay the higher subject should not able to release any information that's why keyword is used downward so option a downward to a low so downward from not to it is mentioned from because if this data has been classified as a management it is available to the or if it classified as a secret it is available to the management so we will not let the senior management to write anything on that because whatever they write that can be accessible to the management so question talking about downward form so low security level no so that is removed because it's not something okay practitioner will not able to process it's saying that prevent so a removed there is nothing called as a medium security and neutral security so only option is left is b so high security level it mean higher subject security will not able to read anything on the below that's why it's called downward flowing flowing downward from so from higher subject will not able to read the lower subject data that is why the answer is b for beta let's move to the next coffee shot okay so might be you get shocked 
so much to read but don't worry if you get such kind of a scenario question you are you are you are basically lucky because too much information there in the question always remember if it's a scenario it is great question okay so question talking about prab join as a security architect in the organization they are building a new database working on a solution to manage access logic they wish to integrate security model in the database they are currently working on the scenario where the user one assign the clearance level level of secret and ability to read only from a set of subject okay makes sense in order to prevent disclosure disclosure is a word in confidentiality confidentiality is basically bella padula the subject may read information from the object classified as a public or secret but is prevented from reading the classified as a top secret it mean if this is the secret which is labeled to a manager and this data is been classified as a top secret so they should not able to read that information that is the point they talking about because here you can see secret but preventing prevented from reading information classified as a top secret so it mean we have a top secret here and we have a secret here and the user want to prevent from reading the top secret data he can read on this level but they cannot read above prevent from reading classified top secret which security model most suit the requirement that for sure question talking about confidentiality so confidentiality talk about the bella padula so option a biva simple security property refer as a no read up there is no rule called no read up in biva we have a no read down so a automatically remove b saying that bella simply security property where refer as a no read up which is actually a rule which makes sense where the lower subject will not able to read the higher subject data like manager cannot able to read the director based data and that is a question they talking about right prevented from reading information classified as a top secret here you can see option c bella simply security property no write up this is no rule and option d biba refer to no write up but the question talking about disclosure of access so that is why the more close option look like a b no read up so me belong to a management cannot read the top secret data that's why the answer is b i'm sure you will find this video useful and do share me your feedback on the comment box how do you find this video and if you find this video useful do share in a network do subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future video and do let me know what is the other summary you find about the bella padula thank you